Welcome back to the Climate Brief. Today we will talk about three stories that show how climate change is already impacting our lives in more ways than we imagine. First, we will talk about the controversial rebuilding of the Tista 3 dam in Sikkim. Then, the postponement of the Khelo India Winter Games due to insufficient snowfall in Kashmir. And finally, about India's recognition of four more sites as Ramsar wetlands. I am your host, Lavanya, and this is the Climate Brief. this month, an expert panel approved plans to rebuild the Tista 3 dam in Sikkim. But why do we need to rebuild the Tista 3 dam? That's because just 14 months back, it was completely washed away by a glacial lake outburst flood or GLOF in short. In October 2023, the South Lona glacial lake burst, sending a tsunami of water and debris down the Tista river. The force was so intense, it wiped out the 60-meter-high dam in minutes. The flood killed 55 people and displaced over 7,000, exposing the extreme vulnerability of Himalayan infrastructure to climate change. Before it collapsed, Tista 3 HEP hydroelectric power project was the biggest hydropower project in Sikkim with a capacity of 1,200 megawatts. Now the government is planning to rebuild the dam. The proposed stronger design includes a higher spillway capacity and an early warning system. In simpler words, it claims it has greater resilience to flash floods and glacial lake outbursts, the kind that caused the dam to collapse the last time. But here's the catch. Experts aren't convinced. The 2023 flood carried 270 million cubic meters of sediment downstream, permanently raising the riverbed. Future floods could hit with even more force. A study that got published in the magazine Science last year has found that the region still remains highly susceptible to future GLOF events, including repeat triggers from northern lateral moraine failures. There are concerns about how the calculations for flood risk were done. Some experts say the data is outdated and doesn't account for changing rainfall patterns due to climate change. The likelihood of extreme events like the glacial lake outburst has increased due to permafrost warning and glacial retreats that can eventually be traced back to long-term climate change. In a rare show of unity, both environmental experts and political parties in the state have raised concerns about this plan to rebuild the dam. Several local leaders from the opposition have written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, urging him to pause the project, saying that rebuilding the dam without proper risk assessments is like setting up a ticking time bomb. The question remains, can we really engineer our way out of climate change? Or are we just setting ourselves up for another disaster? Speaking of climate surprises, this one has come for a sports event. The Kelo India Winter Games, scheduled to be held in Gulmarg in February, had to be postponed because there simply wasn't enough snow. Authorities are now playing a waiting game, hoping for a good spill of snowfall before they reschedule the event. This marks the second consecutive year that the event has faced rescheduling due to inadequate snowfall. Last year, the Games had to be pushed to February after a dry January. The Kelo India Winter Games started in 2020, making this the fifth edition. The first leg of the Kelo India Winter Games 2024 was held in late from January 23rd to 27th. The second leg was supposed to take place from 22nd to 25th February. February in Gulmarg is supposed to look like this. But this year? Here's the thing. It isn't just about a sports tournament. Kashmir is seeing a whopping 79% rainfall deficit this year. And the temperatures are way above normal. Kashmir's entire winter economy, ski resorts, tourism and even agriculture depends on snowfall. And it's not just affecting the economy. No snow means dry rivers, water shortage, and yes, even forest fires in one of the most ecologically fragile regions on Earth. But let's not lose all hope. Some good news is coming from India's wetlands. On World Wetlands Day, which is the 2nd of February, India proudly added four new wetlands to its Ramsar list. 
That brings us to a total of 89 sites, making us leaders in Asia. The four new Ramsar sites are 1. The Sakkarakottai Bird Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu 2. The Tertangal Bird Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu 3. The Ketchioperi Wetland in Sikkim and 4. The Udhwa Lake in Jharkhand. Now, wetlands are climate warriors. They store carbon, purify water and act as natural flood barriers. But here's the problem. Just naming a site as a Ramsar site is not enough. Many Ramsar sites in India still face threats. Illegal mining, encroachment and mismanagement are eating away at these fragile ecosystems. Take Sambar Lake in Rajasthan. Despite Ramsar status, illegal salt mining continues. Or Vedantangal Bird Sanctuary, which nearly lost 40% of its area to commercial expansion. Titles alone won't save wetlands, enforcement will. So what's the bigger picture here? Whether it's dams, snowfall or wetlands, one thing is clear. Climate change is reshaping our landscapes faster than our policies can adapt. That's it for today's The Climate Brief. If you found this eye-opening, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because climate stories matter and so do the people who care about them.